All right. Welcome back to another video. I don't know. You guys probably haven't seen my comm videos because, well, this is kind of maybe more of a audio um, utility thing. So what I'm going to show today is the idea of spinning off your cables when they're brand new and then over undering them, not just letting them fall out of your hand the first time. So I've got four cables here. They're only 25 footers, but this is what in the middle of my project is. So they're all brand new. I'm going to cut the uh, zip ties off of them now and I'm going to go do my technique three times just so you can see it three times. And then I'm going to pull out a cable and not do it by my technique. Now these have a pretty big uh, hole in the center. So it's a little bit tricky on my capstan. They're a lot larger bundles than I thought, but I made this capstan and it just allows the cable to spin off when it works well. So basically I'm just gonna spin it off the capstan onto the ground. It looks like nothing special, but then I'm gonna over under. All right. So that is what I'm doing to these cables. I'm gonna do it again. This is, I think, should be done every time cables are brand new out of the packaging. And the reason I think this is because these cables were packaged hot. They were rolled right as they came off the line. All right, I'm just going to do it under the ground. I would normally just go right into an over-under, but since you guys are watching. All right, so off the capstan and then onto the ground and then into an over-under. Well, I'll redo that one because you guys are watching. So this idea of over-undering puts a twist in. It takes a twist out and it makes you a nice straight cable. It's actually straight in the bundle, even though it may not look like it. It's not a bunch of, of turn, 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 left, 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 like NASCAR. It's a left, a right, a left, a right. Like, I don't know, some kind of road course. All right, I'm going to do this one again so you guys can watch it. On these bigger cables some, or smaller cables, sometimes it's hard to tell which side of the bundle it's coming out of. The idea is this th thing was rolled into its original packaging, and so I'm rolling it out and taking all of those twists out. So it kind of just lays here in a straight out cord. And then I can over under it. Hey guys, notice my connector is facing forward with my thumb. If you guys are like career over unders, look at your technique and see if it's forward like mine. I don't argue that forward is better connector forward. All right. And then this time I'm going to take this brand new cable and I'm just going to do it off the roll or off the ground. Look, you can kind of see these twists already accumulating. They're showing up, right? Basically the argument is that look at all those twists that were stored in there. If you put that out on the ground and had all those twists in there, then it would uh, might separate the cable in the sun. Those twists would get some relaxation and then the cable would clench again on those twists. And that's how you get the uh, demonic cables that never can be straightened out. So a lot of twists came out of this thing, but I'm gonna try and over under it again anyways. And we're gonna see if those twists show back up. Look at that, they're already there. It's kind of hard to make a good example when all the twists came out right there and it's only a 25 foot cable. But um, point being, you might want to unroll your cables, especially when they're longer than 25 feet, unroll them and then over under them. All right. Maybe you learned something.
Maybe you've seen something that I did that you've been doing a million times and you want to tell me how it's better your way. Let me know.